We continue following a developing story from up and down the East Coast. A series of suspicious packages left for prominent Democrats and the New York offices of CNN. In all, six devices were found. They were found at the homes of former Presidents Obama and Clinton, as well as a congressional sorting facility addressed Representative Maxine Waters. CNN was forced to evacuate its New York studios after a device was delivered there and a big Democratic supporter also targeted, along with Representative De uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, when the intended target in this case may have been former Attorney General Eric Holder. Channel 2's Sophia Beausoleil checked with local Democratic leaders today. She's joining us live with the story. Sophia? Bill, right now, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee is holding a press conference with Police Chief Art Acevedo, along with Ed Gonzalez from the Harris County Sheriff's Office, Homeland Security, DPS, and other local law enforcement. They say that they want everyone to be vigilant, especially when it comes to packages, and they say that people need to settle their differences at the ballot box. Investigators are working around the clock to find the person or people responsible for sending several packages containing potential explosives to prominent Democrats and CNN's New York headquarters. The fact that all of the recipients or all of the potential targets of these explosive devices were folks uh, uh, who were on the Democratic side, that's going to be looked at and maybe the source of that. James Conway is a former FBI agent. He says authorities won't leave any stone unturned and have to look at all the common denominators. The laboratories, both at the Secret Service and the FBI, are pretty sophisticated, and they'll drill down and they'll analyze these devices. We don't really know anything yet, but they'll look at it, they'll look at possible component parts, what they call the signature of the device. Ninth Congressional District Congressman Al Green has increased security at his office. And he can process the mail. You'll note that he looks at it to see if there's something suspicious. Last year, the congressman installed a mail hood in his office, so his staff won't have direct contact with mail. But he says even with these measures, he doesn't think he has enough security. I'm very much concerned about not only the persons who've been targeted, but also about the people who handle the mail. I'm concerned about the constituents that we serve. I think it's important to take note that although we have heard that some of these devices were dummy, dummies, um, some were active, and the one in particular at CNN was an active one, uh, and we don't know whether or not uh, any uh, active devices were found around the congressional offices. And Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee sits on a Judiciary Committee when it comes to Homeland Security, terrorism, and crime. She says she, along with other members of Congress, are calling on the White House to have a full briefing. She's expecting that hopefully in the next 24 hours so they can learn more information in regards to this investigation. Reporting live from downtown Houston, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Sophia, thank you, ma'am.